Welcome in everyone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the Melt Flower. The, it's the free event weapon you can get from doing the Windbloom Festival right now. Make sure to watch my previous video. There will be a link down in the pinned comment. So that way you can get all the details on the event and make sure that you do get all the rewards. But as you can see, we have a refinement rank 5 and then it is level 80. I can't get it up to level 90 right now, but I want to get the video as soon as possible because uh, farming these things is um, it's ridiculous. If you have been leveling up this weapon, just know that farming these things is going to be quite hard because the uh the consecrated beasts are few and far between hopefully if you have some friends in co-op they can help you with that they do drop a lot of materials when they do die so that's nice but besides that uh it would probably take some days of grinding so we have a level 80 this is just a team that i've been running around with and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be testing it on a couple different characters that i think can make use of it now in terms of dea's uh particular case i do think that you do have to have the right certain team comp to uh make this effective and i do think dea is 100 percent better in uh melt teams than she is in uh vaporized teams even though i am running a uh, vaporized team right now that's mainly because i want to uh, i've been testing out uh, the double pyro with the double hydro with uh, three units that do scale off a of max HP so we can make use of that buff. But first things first, we're going to try against the Mill Flower really quick. Um, my main DPS stats are on my Ayato, so uh, these Dea stats are not going to be great. But if she's able to take care of our volunteer here, no problem, because I've seen... Um, some YouTube videos where uh, people weren't even able to like one rotate her. that then you know should be good so obviously stats aren't that good she has just a busted set on her because again like my Ayato and my other characters do have my my better DPS Arfix stats I have a C1 and then talents are 167 I am just need to farm more of these I'm gonna get her up to 188 soon probably by Wednesday when I can go ahead and farm those materials but Without further ado, let's just test this claymore out on Dea and then see if we can even run rotate this. Um, so far, one of the things I've noticed is uh, obviously Dea has has some issues, but but I believe that you can still make her work, and even if it's not the most optimal, it's still fine. Okay, well, that worked. <laughs> she kind of just destroyed that. Even though I, I think uh, Ayato ended up taking most of those vaporizes with uh, that. So, as you can see, uh, against a, a puny little cryo reg is fine, which is like Dea's probably most optimal setup. No problem. No problem at all. So right now I don't have anything surrounding me. So you can see the stats here where I have 295 elemental mastery and then 1662 attack. And let's go ahead and use her elemental skill. I think there's, yeah, there's an enemy right here. And we'll see what that goes up to. So, so the elemental skill. So she gets goes up to 1837 and then 391. And again, the weapon, when you do use an elemental skill, does give 24% attack and 96 elemental mastery on refinement 5 which is really nice. It is a really, really, really nice buff. And especially for a free to play four star, it, it's honestly pretty great. So uh, the next character that I wanted to test this on is gonna be uh, Deluc. Cause I do think that with the introduction of this weapon, Deluc, this is his new best in slot free to play four star that we have. And uh, obviously things like Serpent Sign serpent spine and other weapons are going to be better but i do think that uh if you don't have like refinement five serpent spine and you are looking for uh, a new weapon for deluc uh, let's just go here then this weapon can actually perform incredibly well and do a lot in deluc like vaporized teams all right so we are back at the cry red just fine with uh, a pretty normal deluc team i would say with the double the double hydro Deluc team and this is my stats with it I could use a little bit more crit rate but this is my stats I have like a, a four piece gladi gladiator because I never farmed the uh, crimson witch because I didn't really play too much Deluc despite what um, his level and his uh, talents would have you believe but we are going to test it on the Regis fine and we are just going to see if we can get some damage numbers that are going to be respectable and just kind of show off how well this works 
I need to get Bennett's ult up, but he should be able to get it actually just from hitting this. Yeah, yeah, this next one will give him it. Let's light it up. Okay. Witness the power of Gugwa. Here comes the catch. And then we'll do this. Make sure you do at least one elemental skill first before. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he hits he hits pretty hard with that. We'll probably have to find a tankier enemy. Actually, we will find a tankier enemy just to show that off because um, even just like the supports alone are going to absolutely decimate it. But yeah, that was, I mean, obviously it cleared really fast. And when you compare it to a day's clear time, we just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so let me get my elemental burst back up. We'll go find um, a tankier enemy probably the uh the rock frog and then we'll show it off there where we can get a better test for the weapon all right so we are now heading towards the rock frog and all i'm hoping is that he didn't roll hydro or pyro resistance and that's hydro that's not too bad that's better than having um pyro resistance because we're mainly here to see deluke's numbers anyway with the weapon so this won't be like the end of the world Oh no, is that Cryo? No way I can get I can't tell actually. Alright. Let me leave you a first. Gotcha. So we'll just activate this. Go to Bennett. Do this. Okay. I forgot to activate my other things, but. I have C3 Deluke, so I often try to remember. And then we go for one more rotation and he'll definitely die. He'll probably actually just die to this plus Bennett. Okay. So yeah, that was, I mean, that wasn't too bad. And again, my crit rate is lower because normally I am running Serpent Spine on uh, my Diluc. So I don't have the artifacts really to switch this up without sacrificing a ton of crit damage. But that does show off. I do think it's really good on Diluc. And even right now without the buff, we have 2000 attack and then... Uh, with the buff, we go up to quite higher. So, Dea and Deluke, I think, are both good wielders of it. Dea, I, I do, I will say that you have to have pretty, pretty cracked artifacts in order to use this. Because the thing about Dea is she needs so much for her kit. Like, she needs really high energy recharge. She needs HP. She needs attack. She needs crit rate, crit damage. And in unless you have, like, a really, really good farmed artifact set for her, you're probably not going to get enough of that to supplement that. Because even in like energy recharge, like in most team comps, you need like 180 plus, sometimes even more than that. So I do think that maybe if you wanted to try her in like with Ganyu in, uh, in a melt comp or reverse melt comp, then uh, that could work decently just for um, obviously not when Ganyu's on the field doing her stuff, but like you could like Ganyu ult and then uh, Bennett and then use uh, Dea's ult and then you can probably get some good. Uh, damage off of that because of that elemental mastery buff and a couple other characters that I did want to point out that I think could make really good use of it is let me go in and then we're gonna go to Claymore so I don't have every character in the game but a couple characters I do think are gonna be really good with this weapon is I would say that bait Beto is this is probably similar to Diluc going to be like her best free to play option that she does have as long as you get enough energy recharge to supplement her ult because obviously she be her being electro elemental mastery has been increasingly more valuable for electro units because of the advent of Dendro so that's really good Razor there's this weird like hyper bloom Razor team that 
people sometimes play, but other than that, I don't really see it. And uh, Noel and Ito, no, they don't need Elemental Mastery for any reason because of the fact that like Geo and Elemental Mastery don't really go well together. Unless you want stronger shields, which you don't really need, I don't really see it. Dory, Dory could be okay. Um, I don't think Dory's very good in general, but if you do want to use uh, Dory, then it could work on her. And Sayu, Sayu, this is probably going to be her best in slot in terms of uh, free-to-play options because Sayu obviously being in an emo unit does want the elemental elemental mastery so that's going to help her out a ton Chong Yun and Jin Yan you could but there's going to be better options out there so ultimately I do think that this weapon is really really valuable for a couple key units anybody any claymore user who is going to be the one triggering your reactions for vaporize or melt as well as uh, any team comp where you're going to be using dendro it will be really good on but other than that i don't see too many other characters that are really going to make use of it but that's okay because the characters that can make use of it especially if you don't need crit rate or crit damage from your weapon then this weapon is going to be absolutely fantastic for them as well as we also have kave coming up and kave this is probably going to be his best free to play weapon because as far as we know he is a dendro claymore user and so this weapon will be obviously pretty good for a dendro claymore user because dendro loves elemental mastery so you can really really make it work on him i i assume that this is probably going to be the best use case for the claymore is kave and that's probably why we're uh getting this right before kave's release is so that way you do have an option if you do want to use uh kave as like your main uh dps which I, i'm hoping he is i i would hope that he is i assume that a, de a dendro claymore user is probably going to be a main main dps because we don't really have um we only have like one, sometimes two, you could technically count as main DPSs without Haytham and Nahida, but Nahida is not usually your main DPS. She's more of like an on-field or off-field driver. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what other type of Genshin Impact content that you do want me to cover. Make sure to check out my Genshin Impact playlist. I have a ton of really cool videos there. And that is all for me today. If you enjoyed it, leave a like as well as subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.